Hi, my name is Leah Day, and welcome to this video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. We're back on Express Your Love and working through the sun rays, stitching out another variation along those same lines, uh, hot, hot spiral and wiggle, wiggle spiral, those designs. This time we're going to learn a design called Loopy Doopy Spiral. So it's still another funny name, and it's a really fun, easy design to learn. So let's get on the machine and see how this works. Basically, I've got my space ready to go, and all I'm going to do is loop. I'm going to stitch a loop, stitch a loop, and then stitch a spiral, leaving my space more than enough room to get out. I'm going to loop, loop, and stitch a spiral. Now, with this particular design, I decided to keep the rule of um, wiggle, wiggle, spiral where I do two loops and then I do a spiral. And I, I decided to do that simply because I was noticing that I wasn't putting the spirals very close if I didn't have that rule set in place. Now what did I just do? You just saw me stitch back through that space, uh, stitching right on along and coming into that area. And the reason is I felt like I left some gaps in that space. So I just went back in to fill them in. So now we just repeat the design, loop, loop, and then stitch a spiral. Come down this way, stitch a loop and run up against that line of quilting. And another loop, and then into another spiral. So I like that rule. After playing with it a bit, I realized that I really like that rule of forcing myself to stitch more spirals simply because it seemed to make the texture, it seems to make, force me, I guess is the best way of saying it force me to stitch more spirals than fewer. And I'll admit my tendency is to not stitch as many simply because I start worrying, oh well, what if, the what if the spirals are all on top of one another? What if they're all built up like that? What will someone think if they look at my quilt and they see all the spirals clustered up in one spot? What will people think? I can't tell you how many times I've made a design decision based on something that's silly. And finally today I was sitting here looking at this going, I don't care what other people think. It's my quilt. <laughs> so, you know, it's one of those things, getting there has been a continual process. I'm always kind of scared that something I'm going to do on my quilt is going to be noticeable or glaring. And the truth of the matter is, it's not. It's never going to be noticeable. 90% of your mistakes are only ever visible to you, and only if you really look for them. They're not going to be apparent to any old stranger on the street, because they're not going to know where they are. And no one's going to look at that and say, oh, those spirals are all in the same place in a little cluster. That's a mistake. That No, it's just not going to happen. So it's it was kind of a eureka moment for me to realize that this is a good design for me to stitch because the very simple rule, the very simple but also very concrete rule of having to go in and having to stitch those two uh, loops for every spiral really forces me to stitch the spirals more often. And you know, to be honest, I think it ends up being quite well balanced. I don't think that it's, you know, somehow a mistake to do it that way in any way. Now right there I had to kind of wiggle my way in and wiggle my way out. And I might have to do a few more loops just to make sure that area is filled consistently. And that's fine too. You know, this is really just about filling the space as consistently as possible. And the nice thing is you can cross your lines of quilting. You can see what I just did right there. And the reason being I knew that I had that space I needed to fill it completely. And I had left that little gap and I needed to wiggle back in there and fill it. So it's really just looking at those gaps and making sure everything is consistent and you're going to be satisfied with the quilt. That's really more than anything else that I'm kind of moving into, the mentality I'm moving into. Is it does not matter what anyone thinks so long as I'm happy with what I've done. And I can't tell you the number of times that I have agonized about a particular decision. Right there I did three. I don't think I'm going to get arrested by the quilting police. How many times I've agonized about a quilting decision, just worried, you know, that it's going to look weird and that somebody's going to notice it. Somebody's going to say something. And they're not. 
So that's it for this design. I really hope that you'll give Loopy Doopy Spiral a try. And also, maybe that that experience that I shared will help you understand that no one's looking at your quilts with a critical eye. We are often our world's worst critics. And trying to disengage that whole idea of what will people think and that worry, that constant nagging worry, it's a process, but it's one that I'm going to continue to work on very hard. So I stop uh, letting my quilts get hijacked more than anything else, and especially the designs. If you need to, come up with a design that has very specific rules that will force you to stitch something uncomfortable. Put those spirals all in one big cluster. Stitch more loops. Whatever it is that you look at it going, huh, how is that going to look? Well, you don't know until you try it. So definitely get on your machine and do some quilting today. My name is Leah Day, and this has been a video for the Free Motion Quilting Project. Find hundreds of more videos, Stitching Out, Express Your Love, and many other designs at freemotionproject.com. Until next time, let's go quilt.